I feel like I'm living in the 80s right now. <coughs> What's up, guys? This is Sonic Sonic 25 here, and welcome back to my playthrough of Sonic Colors for the Nintendo Wii. Unadjust the camera. Please stop that. Please stop. Anyway, and last time we went through Starlight Carnival and defeated our private tour guide, which is a robot, so yeah, pretty crazy. <laughs> but in this episode, we're going to go through one of the most beautiful, probably the most beautiful, worlds in Sonic in this game. Sorry am I adjusting my camera, it's just I can't get into a perfect angle, but do you guys hear that? That is the sound of what you should play for your future baby. This is the way you should play for your future baby. It's so soothing. Well, now we're going to need to come here. To act one, let me start out this beautiful world. Do you. Can you not see that this world is so beautiful? Even this music sounds so beautiful. Everything about this world so is so beautiful. Sounds so good. Like seriously, this game with this music, top notch. One of top notch. <laughs> but anyway, we got ourselves this spike whisk, and the cool thing about the spike whisk in this game, you can use the spin dash, which is super awesome. Kind of gives you that classic feel, which is, which is, I think, what it's supposed to do. But eh. No! I missed my red metal. A red, red ring. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get that. There we go. But seriously, this world. I can't get over the music the first time I saw this world and listened to this music. It's just so beautiful. Even with this construction site part of this, it still looks beautiful. And honestly, I like this one better than the Sonic Generations one. I mean, the music, it's still great. The music's still great in that game. Don't get me wrong, the, the remix sound great. But, with talking stage-wise, it's just... It's just terrible. It's actually the longest one. It's actually the longest stage in the game. And I don't like the way it was designed. I mean, I love the I love the first part of the game. Don't get me wrong, I love the first the first part of the game when you start off, but the rest of the stage, it was disgusting. And it's just because there were so many construction sites 
that it just took the nope no there we go like it was not like this one it's not like the original oh The nice and powerful silver platinum S rank, and we got ourselves four one ups. That, that, that's how we do it. That's how we do it. Man, I don't, I don't like the remake stage of in generations just because, like, the forest part, like the forest part of the stage. It was only the beginning. The rest of it, it was just construction crud, and then. I hate the buzz saw. I hate the buzz saws in that in that stage. Like there is just relentless amount, and not to mention the whips. They are they're not the same. Like I don't like the way that you have to charge up the rocket whips because it's it's confusing. And why another thing I don't like about. Oh my lord, uh I'm getting that. Wow! Are you kidding me? Uh no, no! why did I slip off? What the f Ugh If I die because of this. Thank you! Finally! Good lord. Like I couldn't get it. But yeah, one of the things I don't like about the whiffs in the game is that you can't tell if you're about to run out of whiffs power or not. But when you're in the spike whiffs, when you play in classic Sonic, it just, it's like you know when you're about to run out when the music speeds up. But I don't like it. Like I said, I don't like the stage, stage-wise. Like, this, both of the stages in Planet Wisp and Generations was complete trash. I'm sorry, but it just is. Ugh, get your spiky balls where you... Ugh. Oh wow. And just how about these stairs? And yeah. Ooh! Thank you, um enemy that I forgot what name you are. For giving us those rings though. Let's boost over here. Ooh! Yeah, so it's a ton of rings. And there it is. Can we get at least an A rank? Nope. Yeah, that's why I don't like Sonic Generations' this planet with. It's just too many construction sites and not enough grass, moss, and, excuse me, all of this other stuff. So, yeah. Stop being blurry. Okay. Also, guys, you know what funny thing I just researched? Like, today and yesterday? I can't believe Nintendo is... Um... Showing... <laughs> the hidden characters for Super Smash Bros. For the Wii U 3DS. Yeah. What the heck? Okay, I completely boost right there. What the heck? I boosted. And it just like didn't register. And that's how we do it. Completely annihilated those guys. I mean use this cube with Oh, oh, red ring, red ring, red ring. Where is it? Oh come on. Uh come on. Why won't we go down? 
Oh, wow. I had to go right here. Wow, I'm so stupid. Like I said, guys, I'm just now returning to play this game, and it's been long since I played this game, so don't judge me. Uh, I'm not gonna waste my time getting out my ring because it's so it's too far away and I'm lazy like that, so yeah. Ugh! Ugh! I almost I almost died because of that. Uh, now we have to do this break these boxes and just head up here to this red ring and send in the goal. But yeah, <laughs> funny thing I just researched. I like how Nintendo reveals the hidden characters for Super Smash Brothers, like Dr. Mar Dr. Mario, Dark Pit, and all that stuff. Even though they just released the 3DS version last week. I don't know why, but they just revealed the hidden characters even though the 3DS version was released last week. I'm like, really Nintendo? Are you kidding me? The 3DS version was out last week and you're revealing these hidden characters? You know what? I'm just gonna do their own thing. Is that being stupid? <laughs> uh, I'm not mocking Nintendo, it's, it's just weird how they revealed the hidden characters even though we already know what they are because the 3DS version was released last week. But anyway. This right here. And boost right here. Okay. Oh lord. And this is where things get tricky. Now, I wouldn't waste my time going through there. I would just jump and stump onto these platforms until I get the uh, laser whisk or the rocket whisk, whatever I get. Get a laser whisk. Just stomp. Jump and stop, jump and stop, jump and stop. And just use the laser whisk randomly here. <laughs> like quickly. Okay. Uh I forgot why I need to use the Do I use it here? Yes we do. Now we just skydive right here. Oh, I love this music. Like the music in this, in this world, it's just so relaxing. Like, I know a person, I know a YouTuber who, oh, no, 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 oh, oh, we got the red ring regardless, okay. And we got ourselves a nice and powerful S ring. Not bad, not bad. And we got ourselves four one ups once again, like bosses. Uh, we're just scattering on this one up. Ooh, cutscene. Camera stop blurring. Oh, no kidding, Sonic. <laughs> no kidding. If you can hear this message, you are trespassing in an area still under renovation. If you are not a robot, <laughs> if you are not a robot, and if you are anything evil, you might have seen here. Wow, thanks for not spilling the beans, Eggman, like a total dirt. More than a bean, it's a yow. He's using them like some kind of living intergalactic gas. Well, that's disgusting. For a sleazeball like Eggman. What the heck? What the heck? Aww. You getting any of that? Yeah, they're totally freaked out. It sounds like they're in shock because of public transportation and Looney Nurse. Looney Nurse and Sonic Boo? Strange transformation and having been dragged across the universe. Well, I still can't believe he kidnapped the whole planet. How did somebody do that? I don't know. 
He did it in Sonic CD. Yeah, well, I'm going to guess it was an ice cream shooting out of those generators. Or a chili dog. I would get one for back home. Dude, I'd get two. <laughs> now, if everyone Wait. Excuse me, I'm going to put a stop to Sonic doesn't do ice cream. He does in Sonic Unleashed, but no, Sonic remembers chili dogs. You guess Sonic loves those chili dogs. <laughs> Funny thing uh, about that. Um, when I watched Sonic Underground, it used to have a lot of moments where Sonic eats these chili dogs. Like, I watched, I used to watch Sonic Set AM, Sonic Underground, and Sonic the Hedgehog, to where the moments where he eats chili dogs, and at times when my mom, when my mom cooks chili dogs, I usually, I usually watch Sonic Underground <laughs> and just eat the chili dog the moment where Sonic eats the chili dogs. I know that sounds weird, but I, I don't know. It's the, it's the chili dog feeling. Yeah. So, yeah, that's, that's a bit... That's a very kind of weird fact, you know, about me, but, yeah, I used to do that. I used to eat chili dogs with the moment in the old Sonic shows where Sonic eats the chili dogs. So, yeah. <laughs> I know that's a bit weird, but, hey. <laughs> Try me, I like Sonic. <laughs> I actually need to watch the... See, want to watch the old Sonic shows again. I don't know. I just missed watching them. Because I had Netflix. Like, I watched Sonic Underground and Sonic Satayum because of Netflix. I don't think Sonic Satayum Satayum is on Netflix. But I watched it. I watched Sonic Underground on Netflix. And I would watch them sometimes, but now I don't, I didn't have Netflix since, uh, 2003, I think. I think it was 2003, 2003, wow, wow, derped out moment right there. Since 2013, I think, and yeah, I miss having Netflix, but... Now we have YouTube. Oh uh, yes, yeah, starting the stage with grinding. I like it when Sonic starts off a stage while grinding. It's just so boss. Now we're gonna come here, grab the combo wisp, and home attack these enemies, and go into the skydiving section. I actually thought this was a bottomless pit until I fell down here, but no, it's just a, okay, we gotta land on that perfectly. Oh, thank goodness. I know I was gonna do. And if you, what the? Okay. I was going to take a shortcut and boost over there, but that's fine. Use the hover whisk, use this light speed dash. And wreck that robot. And what's the? Okay. Ugh, that was close. Also, tell me, guys. Well, um, I know this is late, but what is your favorite whisk? Like, what is your favorite whisk in the entire Sonic series? Um, including Sonic Lost World. Honestly, my favorite whisk would have to be the Cyan Whisk. Not just because how... Oh my gosh, I'm about to... Okay. Not because... Not just because, um... How he... Like, how his abilities work. 
but I like his this I like its design. I like sign I like the sign with this design. Like it just looks so cool. Actually, I like the sign with so much that funny thing, um, if you actually follow me on Twitter and or Google Plus, which you don't have to, just saying, but I got I have my own character that I have inspir like my own character was inspired by the sign by the design of the Cyan Wisp. It's just actually crazy. I gotta be honest. Like, my own characters that... Some of my characters, um... Design almost looks like... Oh, oh, oh. Woo! Woo! Ah, Dang it. Whoa, lag! Okay, if I could... Oh my god. Almost die. Foolishly. Well, it looks like I can't reach that. Switch. Okay, can I get up here? Cry out loud. Oh! Almost slipped. Go into these rings. One by one. And head to the head to the goal. <laughs> but yeah, my own. But I have my own characters. Some of some of the characters that I created. It's kind of based off the Cyan Wish in this game. And I'm not trying to make it look like Sonic or the uh, like exactly like Sonic, like re relative to Sonic. I kind of want to have it my own thing, as you might call it. So, if you all don't know what my characters look like, go check my Google Plus and or my Twitter. Kind of see that. But anyway, we're going to come here, head to this boss. And there's the generator. Seems like these guys are getting harder and harder to find. Yep. Oh, look at there. It's the, uh... It's the updated version of the first boss so Big Boy we face in Tropical Resort. These guys are getting harder and harder to beat. <laughs> Please remember, all planets in Hangman's incredible interstellar amusement park are, as far as you know, wholly owned properties of Hangman Enterprises and its subsidiaries. Nobody gets a crap. Unauthorized photography, video reproduction, or shutting down of generators is... What the heck? <laughs> shutting down generators. Oh, here we go. Yeah. No copyright law in the universe is going to stop me. Best line in the game. In the game, like seriously. Like seriously, that's the best line in the game. To where, to where, Sonic doesn't care if, if the whole game, like. Anything that's copyrighted, Sonic doesn't care. Sonic doesn't care if it's if something that that's been stolen or anything like that. Sonic doesn't care about that. He doesn't care if, it, if it's copyrighted because no no copyright law in the universe is gonna stop him. That's for sure. So I like that line. It's one of the best lines in the Sonic series. Like seriously, and can I get this? Oh lord, let's start this. This rolling round, rolling round, rolling, rolling, mm, uh, rolling, rolling, rolling. And catch a spiky ball though. Catch a spiky ball though. Catch a spiky ball though. He's just been defeated by his own spiky ball. I should probably stop saying spiky ball so much. <laughs> oh, I should stop being so suggestive. Ooh. Nice and powerful. S ring. Nice and platinum right there. Look at that. That S ring is 
platinum. Sparkly. So shiny. And the generator is down. Wow. Sometimes I even impress myself. For a second there, I wasn't sure I was going to pull it off. Are you kidding me? Who am I kidding? We both knew how this would end. Uh. uh are you talking to the broken robot who can't hear you? <laughs> Maybe. That's between me and the robot. See, the important thing here is the alien planet is free. Wow. <laughs> Absolutely. So, we can just forget about the whole talking to dead robots thing, right? Nope. nope. <laughs> I've seen you save the day a lot of times, but I've never seen you talk to a pile of metal. Touche. Wow. Tails has had to say it like that. Wow, Tails. Wow. But that is going to conclude this episode. So, thank you guys for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. And next time we're going to head out to the most beautiful water world in this game, Aquarium Park, which is right there. See? That blue one. That blue thingy. Not that blue-eyed, red-eyed Sonic thingy. The blue world under that blue, red-eyed Sonic thingy. <laughs> I'm confusing you. But thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. This is like Sonic 25 signing out. Bye bye.